Hi, this is Alan Cho. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Z filter feature in Zbox. Uh, I've already written some code here, and let's test the movie. As you can see, uh, I've placed several balls in a line, and when I move my mouse horizontally, the camera's Z position is changing. And you can see a ball disappear or reappear on the stage. It's because when it gets behind the camera, you can't see it, so it disappears. And when it gets back in front of the camera, it appears again. This sudden appearance or disappearance is kind of choppy. Uh, I want to create a transition from opaque to completely transparent. So this is where a Z filter comes in handy. A Z filter is essentially a filter which works on an object according to its uh, position, I mean distance, from the camera. In order to show this, I'm going to import the Z filter package, which is zbox.filters. And as I said, I'm going to use a alpha transition, so I'm going to use the alpha Z filter. Var filter alpha Z filter. And the near plane is the distance from the camera. The nearest distance from a camera like the object would be uh, would be visible. When the object exceeds this distance, it will be entirely transparent. So I'm going to set the near plane to zero, which is right at the position of the camera. So when the object when the object exceeds the camera uh, at this point, it would become entirely transparent. And moreover, we can set the far plane. So when an object ex exceeds the far plane, it will also become transparent. I'm going to set this to 1500. And there's a range property, uh, not range, range. If I set this to 100, it means the object, uh, when the object en uh, enters the distance of 100 to 0 from the camera, it would fade from, it, its alpha would fade from 1 to 0. Same as the far plane, it will fade from uh, opaque to transparent when the distance goes from 1400 to 1500. And now I'm going to add this filter to the state, uh, to the scene. So I'm going to write scene.zfilters. Uh, this is actually a vector of z filters. So I can just push this filter to the z filter vector. Oops. Oh, typo, not z to bx, it's in z box. Hmm. Another typo. Oh, sorry, not range. It's far range and near range. So you can set the range of transition around the near plane and far plane separately by using these two near range and far range properties. Okay. So now you can see when the when an object, when a ball is getting close to the camera, it would fade out. Same as the same as the ball here at the far point. It would fade when it uh, reaches the far plane. And in addition to the alpha Z filter, we also have a blur Z filter. Uh, instead of uh, instead of creating a alpha transition, it actually creates a blur transition. So when an object gets near the camera or gets too far from the camera, it would be blurred. So we can combine these two filters together. You can name this filter one and name this filter two. Oops, 
filter to alpha Z filter. And I'm going to copy the same near plane, far plane configuration and just change the name to 2. Copy this line and push the filter 1 and filter 2 to the scene. Oops. I haven't changed the name here. Uh, filter 2 and filter 1. Okay. So the ball would both fade out and blur out when it's too far or too close to the camera. Okay, so this is how you use Z filters in Zbox.